early in the morning rising to the street hey guys welcome to my channel today we are in the kitchen we are going to be decluttering organizing cleaning out all the cabinets all of that good stuff so follow me along and let's get to it before we get started i wanted to show you guys what our kitchen looked like when we moved in so this was our kitchen it pretty much wasn't a kitchen it was just a utility sink and two tables we did have two fridges that were filled with mold, of course. And also you may think, well, at least the walls are white. Well, you're wrong again. They may look white, but they're actually like yellow from cigarette smoke. So we had to kill them all. I could say so much more, but I'm gonna do a more in-depth video of our house and of our renovation, so stay tuned. We're gonna start by doing a quick deep clean on the oven and stove. I have not cleaned the inside of the stove in, I don't even think ever, like truly. This was my grandma's stove and we kind of negotiated a trade and I've just never cleaned the inside of it, like truthfully. I've only had it for about a year and it just, it's not something that I ever thought about. And of course, we are going to be cleaning this whole kitchen 100% non-toxic. I will have the link in the description to my website and to my TikTok where I share a bunch of non-toxic swaps and all of that good stuff. You guys definitely should go check it out. Also, these cabinets, I sanded them, painted them. They were used cabinets. This is the shade Sage Green. I was so hoping that it was going to be way more green but I'm still happy with how they turned out but I will have the paint kit linked in the description because I've had a lot of people ask me what I used and the hinges and the handles are both from Amazon I got a really great deal on them so if you guys are needing new hinges or handles definitely check Amazon first before going to Lowe's this cabinet is all we have for pantry space but it honestly works perfect for us and some of the shelves I don't even really put much on and up at the very top I keep things like emergency food that we don't particularly eat but I don't get rid of it just because it could come in handy one day. Our Brita filters, stuff like that that I don't reach for often. We have our canned goods, our flour, peanuts, all of that good stuff, snacks, and then olive oil, protein, I normally keep that at the bottom. And then of course I have a whole shelf for pasta because we are pasta lovers over here. I realized as I was recording this that so many of my dishes are not in this video and I think they are just either in the sink or being dried off. Like. So many dishes are just magically missing. Here I'm just refilling some pantry staples. I absolutely love chia seeds for the dogs. I let them sit with some kefir and it's an excellent probiotic, amazing for their skin and coat health. This is just some organic rice. Now we're scrubbing the stove with my non-toxic dish soap. I definitely still had tape inside some of the cabinets that I finally took off. This was either me or my sister's childhood cup. I've hung on to it. This is a little manifestation thing that I've had in this cabinet this whole time. And I put it back in there because I just couldn't throw it away. I know it has that good energy attached to it. Here's where you more so notice parts of the kitchen that are still under renovation, such as the missing door above this cabinet. There are some downfalls of getting used cabinets, but you can't beat free. Peep Jonathan's wonderful singing in the background and ironically Jonathan raps so you guys should definitely go check out his TikTok. I will have that link down below as well. Go give him some lovin'. Something that I have been wanting to purchase for a while now is a set of nice kitchen towels. I feel like all of the dish towels that I have like leave little fabric, little hairs all over my dishes, all over my counter. They like don't dry my dishes. It's such a pain in the butt and I really want to get a nice set because I am so tired of them. 
a little heads up that me and Jonathan will be doing a giveaway when we hit a thousand subscribers. So make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned for how to enter the giveaway and all of that good stuff. This is the last area that I'm going to be organizing today. And as you see, this one is missing some doors as well. I think we're gonna like cut the middle part out and just do like one large size door and one large drawer right there. I will be happy with that because it can kind of be a pain to get stuff out between those little openings. And as you guys see, all of my pots and pans are mainly stainless steel. If you're transitioning to a non-toxic home, a non-toxic kitchen, stainless steel and glass will be your so best friend. here's everything. There's Avalon checking it out. Here's everything that I put in the pile to pretty much get rid of. I'm going to go through all of my glass jars and make sure that I have all of the lids for them. And some of this stuff I'm not technically like getting rid of. I'm going to give it to my mom. Um, the like old Hershey's cans, I'm going to give those to my dad because he collects those like old cans. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Love is, is what I got.